my privilege to be sharing with you the topic that our new pastor has asked me to contribute. A quarter life crisis. Because life, there is a midlife crisis which is very critical. But now, research throughout the whole world tells us that at the age of 19 to 27, many young people around the world have faced this quarter life crisis. Question Who will be my partner among the millions? Is this my career now to last? A lot of questions, that's why I researched today, is said young people, before finishing college, they have already met crisis, but many have not looked at it seriously because they are so busy with many other things. If you look at our team, God will give me hope. It's a pastor, right? So, my philosophy in life, I understand. All relationships start with a question and end with a question. You listen? All, categorically, all relationships start with a question and end. Why do you love me? Pag nag-iwalay, bakit iniwan mo ako? Right? If you are happy, why we are so happy? But if the life of relationship is like a hell, what a hell? <laughs> I want to convince you to be, to have a wisdom. I read that from scripture, I read that from Ellen White that all relationship before we enter, while we are there, while we experience that relationship and in that relationship, questions should be asked. Okay? Just because you love someone does not mean that you should marry that person. Alright? If you disagree, then you are a philosopher. Oh. Okay. The need to know. The need to know. Okay. The need to know the question in connection with that. The question related to your relationship. I think this Christian should ask first question to God. Then ask the prospective partner. Let me ask, for example. How to know the will of God for your prospective partner in life? Do you have the answer? Our answer is just easy. How do you know it is the will of God? Next, how sure you are it is His will? I have to hear that. I have been in college. I have been professor in college in the South. Here, the same question I hear. Oh, Pastor, it is really the will of God. And after one year, not you will lie. What happened to the will? Wala pang six months, nag Is that the will of God? Do not jump into conclusion. That's why I ask, when you enter relationship, you always ask. Okay, let's move. Okay? Why do you love me? That's the most difficult of all questions. Believe me. Those of you who have sweetheart here, did you ask, why do you love me? The man cannot answer it 100%. Much 
and spread only when you maintain all the body data. Right? Statistics. Pag wala na tumampas ka sa statistics, no, I should not spend rest of my life. I will rest in peace. <laughs> this is the example. When you stick through rough time, Now I'm starting, huh? I'm not yet. Let's follow. Are you willing to lose battles in order to keep peace? Because relationship is always risky in conflict. And many of our relationships are destroyed because of our pride. We don't want to surrender pataan. Right? <laughs> We don't want to surrender our pride. But the best people in the world are those who know how to surrender because to God, surrender is His will. If you surrender to Him, He gives you His will. Don't surrender your will. Another question. Do we like each other's parents? I'm just eliciting your question. Because when you feel in love with your parents, come oh, This is your parents. Ah. Pag maganda ang kotse, okay. Pero pag kopay ko ba? Sa dalita. Parang nahihigin mo yan. Ito ang mga mga. Ang papa ko, ang pogi, ang mama ko, never mind. Okay? A prudent wife or a prudent 
unless your name is Prudencio. <laughs> you are Prudencio. Okay? So let's look at that. Meaning to say, we must understand the text. A product wife is from the Lord. What about the unbelievers who are sometimes so excellent in their character? Are they not from the Lord? I will let you think as a philosopher. It is better to dwell in the wilderness than a contentious and angry woman or man. Oh, somebody told me, Pastor, is this why the pastor can go to heaven? I said, why? You know, he, he, he uh, sees the character of the wife of the pastor. We cannot even recommend that she will go to heaven. Then he asks, why? So terrible. I understand that there are wives of the pastors who are terrible. Very difficult to deal with. But there are also many wives who are really excellent. And I told the young man, young man, for those women, if you think questionable, needs grace. The good ones also needs grace. So both of them. Because Jesus loved them all. Why? I said, because each one of us has positive and negative aspect of life. Right? Do not focus so much on the negative. You read the little one when you get married. But now, carefully. He who finds a wife or husband finds a good thing and obtains favor from the Lord. These things are misused, misunderstood many times. Okay? For more. Okay, principle, secret search. Do not search in Google. <laughs> Do not search in Bing. Do not search in the other way. What you mean is a secret search because you are created by a secret creator. And therefore the relationship that you get in is a secret. And many of us forgot that. Okay? So, I want you to read personally because I will just think that I did not write the text so that the full text so that you will search. Okay? Desiring the will of God for your life is very important. Who will be my partner? Is he beautiful? More beautiful? That is not the question actually. But most men will always find lady who are beautiful. What if, just like Pastor Cuneo says, a beautiful woman with no brain went to a brilliant man whose personality is questionable, his face. Parabang for suspect. So, the beautiful woman said, okay, mister, you are intelligent, but you are not handsome. I am beautiful, but I have no brain. When we meet together, I think it will be a good partner in life. Then the man said, what if my son or my girl has no brain? Then the woman says, it's okay, so long as they are handsome and beautiful. <laughs> what if they cannot think? Oh, do not think about it. <laughs> Here is the problem. We need really to understand what is the will of God. Second, practice obedience God's will in every area of life because when you enter a relationship, God will give you the right direction. Next, develop a relationship with believers. You know that already, right? Avoid unbelievers. But unbelievers today and during the biblical times are different. Because in the biblical times, they are called the Gentiles. Today, who are unbelievers? Today we say, try to avoid not equal, no, not the same religion. Because we have a problem. I have seminar in Manila, and the PSA, registrar, second registrar, say, we cannot marry Catholic and Adventists, Protestant and Adventists, and all of this one. Otherwise, 
one should be converted to the other. So we need to say, stay. Yes, the council. Then, sequish them from friends and family. Okay? When you start relationship, try to console. The problem today with relationship is that you never console. Only sometimes the rowing will have their boating. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> And later on, 